nobody. That man retires undefeated. Definitely was one of the possible outcomes. It just was not the big, the the most likely, and it happened, man. Uh, amazing fight by uh, Terence Crawford. Obviously, you can see he was the more prepared fighter, and um, and you can see why he is who he is. You know. Sure. Yeah. Rematch. Um, I like the rematch. I want to know how healthy uh, Arrow is, and uh, but I think that a lot of fighters aren't, that aren't able to make adjustments in the in real time, they're able to go back to the gym and you know right a lot of wrongs and come back better. So words I do like it. Uh, yeah, really no words to Arrow. I, 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 I rather I rather none of this reach him anyway. You know what I mean? I think that he sh he shouldn't be on social media. He shouldn't be seeing what people say to say about him anyway. But um, just recover. Be around your family. That's what you need right now. Sean, you sparred Tank. You faced Crawford. Tank said he'd stop Crawford in six rounds. What happens if they were to fight? Uh, I don't think Tank would stop uh, Crawford. I think that um, that's a big bully up there at, at 147. Also, Shakur said uh, yesterday that he feels that Crawford would be too skillful for Canelo, and it doesn't matter about the size. How would you match them up? I do agree with that. Uh, size not mattering. Um, but at the same time, you, you can go a little higher than you need to or should. And, you know, we've seen that obviously right there with Canelo going up against Bivol. What was that, last year or the year before? Last year? Last year, yeah. 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 Sean, what do you think about, you know, guys like Stephen A. Smith saying what he said that he thinks, you know, Earl took, uh, I guess, as bad of a beating that he should retire or things like that? What do you think about comments like that? You have to consider, um, why is this thing so close to me? <laughs> you, ha It came right, like, <laughs> I'm like, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> you, hit, you, get, you hit me with it, man, I'm going to sue you. <laughs> just for, because that's just nasty. <laughs> I'm going to sue you for nastiness. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I think you do. You you have to take a look at what you went through, and again, you know, really see. I think you need after a fight like that, you need multiple uh, doctor um, opinions, uh, 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 medical opinions on you know the moves moving forward. You know, sure. You know, he you just uh, spoke about Shakur and, and what he said about Davis versus Crawford, but Shakur himself, it looks like the door's been opened up for him to fight. Loma. What do you think about that? How do you think sense. that fight goes? That fight makes sense. Um, I think... I think... He, uh, not Haney, excuse me. I think that uh, Shakur is... He steps ahead of everybody. Um, and I think he's right there with Devin Haney. He's right there with Tank. I think he's a step ahead of uh, Vasily Lomachenko. I, I truly think that the boxing world has caught up to Loma. I think Loma, for a long time, he was ahead of his time. And I think that that time has caught up with him. Who's got the best chance of being Crawford? I don't know. Nobody. That man retires undefeated. <laughs> yeah. Sean, looking forward yeah. real quick, uh, Jermel Charlo versus Canelo. What does Jermel have to do in that fight you to be su right now, successful? Huh? What does he have to do? <laughs> I think if you're, <laughs> I think I think if you're Jermel Charlo, you are using your jab, and we haven't seen him use this proficient jab where he's jab moving, directional jab, and you know things like that. He's got to get very artistic with that jab. That's number one, number two. He's got to be able to contain and manage that range and that distance, and of course the timing. I think that 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 timing on that right hand is his gift. Use your gift. What do you feel the fight tomorrow night here in Dallas? Jake Paul knockout. Last one for me, man. Uh, just what was your take on Caleb Plan and Jamal Charlo, that whole situation? I hate it for boxing. You know, um, it's boxing for a reason. We get in the ring and we fight. You know, um, I hate for things to escalate and get to that kind of level outside of the ring. But, again, this is boxing where, you know, it takes a level of animosity and things like that. And, you know, sometimes things es escalate, you know. But, um and the even worse part about it is they're with the same in the, under the same umbrella, you know. So it's like at some point they're going to be sharing that umbrella, you know. And I, I hate for things to continue on, you know. I hope they find a way to sell it, and uh, it doesn't get any worse than it got. Sean, last question for me. You know, again after the fight last weekend, there's a whole bunch of this or that. 
hypothetical that keeps coming up, Floyd versus Bud. Now, we all know two versions of Floyd, Pretty Boy, Money. What do you think? Like, how would that fight have went? How could it played out? No, no telling, man. I think both, you know, Floyd obviously still in his prime once he transitioned to Money Mayweather. And both of those fights are amazing fights. Uh, you know, um, that was, that, that's a true fantasy fight right there. That's a true fantasy fight. Thank you, Sean. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate it.